Hey everyone, how's it going? I am Zerakon and I am back once again. Over the course of the weekend, I started seeing some stuff about the upcoming Assassin's Creed Shadows game in both my YouTube feed and in one of the Discord servers I'm in. And that is about the main character being a... Black Samurai. My initial response was, what? Why? And I can imagine that many people shared the same thought. After watching a few videos about this situation, I saw that's because the character is Yasuke, the alleged Black Samurai. It also seems like there's a lot of conflict over whether or not he was actually a samurai or not. Now, I'm not going to debate his legitimacy one way or another. I honestly have about as much information regarding him as the next guy. I never even heard about him at all in any of my Japanese history or culture classes in college, not even as a footnote. My first time hearing about him was when someone told me when Netflix was making anime about him and how he was historically the first Black Samurai. It sounded interesting, but I never got around to watching it, so I don't know how that was. That being said, we all know why Ubisoft would make him a main character. D-E-I, E-S-G, H-I-J-K L-M-N-O-P. It was essentially tokenism at its finest, which is what Ubisoft does best at this point, alongside poor PC optimization and ridiculous pricing. But I'll get to that latter point later on. And it's also odd that Ubisoft would even do this considering that there has never been a real-life figure as a protagonist in an Assassin's Creed game. Disclaimer though, I could be wrong. I haven't played anything newer than Black Flag, so if anything changed after that point, you're more than welcome to roast me for that error. I'll even provide the gasoline. But if things have been going as how I experienced them, Yasuke should be a side character at best, or if they want to do something ridiculous like the tyranny of King Washington, make him some weird alternative history antagonist. You never played as Leonardo da Vinci, Paul Revere, Blackbeard, or any other historical figure before, so why do it now? Is it because this would be the perfect time to make a black person a main character that they decided now is a good time to start doing this? And it's odd too considering that there have been black assassins in the past. Liberation and Freedom Cry had black main characters, and I don't recall anyone being upset over that. You can have black assassins, but make sure that it makes sense to do so in the situation. Heck. You could have a black assassin set during the American Civil War. That would be a pretty good setting. But Yasuke is not the right way to go about this. Additionally, a lot of people are probably going to say that others and myself hate the concept of a samurai being black. I disagree. There have been black samurai figures in fiction that have not received backlash. The most popular one is Afro Samurai. He's a well-received character and a favorite among many. There's also the Samurai from Samurai Jack. Yes, he's not really a samurai and just a poser, but by the end of the series, his arrogant demeanor is gone from when Jack taught him a lesson in humility and what it truly means to be a samurai. And in more recent times, we have Nagoriyuki from Guilty Gear Strive. Frankly, this is the pinnacle of black samurai character design. You've got a burly black guy, plus vampire, plus samurai, plus cybernetic helmet, all rolled up into one tight package. That just screams excellence. And again, when he was first revealed, no one had a problem with him. People liked his design and were interested in him. So it's not a matter of people hating Yasuke just because he's a black samurai. There have been other instances with black samurai and no one had any complaints. The problem is with how he's being used here. At the end of the day, this doesn't impact me in any way. I don't buy or plan to buy any Ubisoft games anymore, nor have I done so in a long time. Apart from their ideologies, the company has had absurd pricing for their games, which the Frozen Gamer 87 and I have discussed on the Orange Box podcast. And I say that this Assassin's Creed game is no different. The base game costs $70, and you can pay up to $130 for the highest tier. I remember when you paid that much for a game, and it was because you were getting a lot of physical merchandise in a collector's edition. And what's the big deal with paying to play the game three days early? It's a single player game. Why is this a thing? Another reason why I don't buy their games is because they require me to have an Ubisoft Connect account, even if you're buying the game on Steam and not the Uplay store. I refuse to do this despite some of their older games being some that I wanted to buy and replay when I switched to PC. But fans deserve a better game than what Ubisoft is giving. Having a feudal Japan setting for an assassin is something that on paper would be an easy A. Yet Ubisoft is throwing away that in the name of diversity and pandering. But that will do it for today. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. As always, I appreciate it. You can check out the Orange Box podcast, which I will leave linked in the description. A new episode is released every Friday. So until next time, everyone, I am Zerikon signing off. Have a good one. You know, maybe I should become a vampire samurai.